Hey everyone, so this is kind of a cool experiment I wanted to do. Uh, so I have this Sony Trinitron TV down here. And as you can see, uh, so yes, yeah, so I bought this from a guy that bought it brand new back in the day. And when he had it, he his daughter um, threw a toy at the screen and like put some cracks into it. Um, so anyway, yeah, but, but I mean, besides that, everything else on the screen looks really good, besides being, you know, a little dusty. Um, so anyway, this is something I've really been curious about. I want to know if you can use wind, a windshield uh, repair kit to um, repair these uh, little uh, cracks in the screen. So anyway, this is going to be a video on uh, <laughs> kind of an experiment and hopefully it works and if it does then you know you can try it um, so yeah this is just a standard windshield repair kit um, yeah I just bought it on Amazon I think it was one of the cheapest ones I think it was Amazon recommended um, so yeah I'm gonna open this up and let's see what's inside hey everyone so this is me from the future uh, I just wanted to say at this point that it was a success uh, so yeah so just keep on watching the video to see um, how it works and everything um, it wasn't perfect, but it was it was a lot better than it was originally. Um, and then also, I just wanted to say that this uh, CRT screen is a uh, it's a flat like there's flat glass in front of the tube because uh, yeah, it's a Sony Trinitron Wega model. Um, so yeah, I I would assume that this would also work on a curved screen, but I'm not I, I mean I'm not sure because I haven't tried it, and I imagine it'd be kind of hard to get the the hard plastic fitting on there. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say that. Oh, and then also, uh, I think a lot of screens don't have this, and like this one I'm pretty sure doesn't, but some CRT screens, they have a protective uh, film on the front of it. So yeah, you want to, I don't know, you want to see if that, if yours has that, because you don't want to damage that, obviously. So yeah, you just want to be careful and yeah, just proceed with caution. But anyway, back to the video. Okay, so here's inside the uh, the repair kit. So here you see you got your um, your tools in here, like the adhesives for going on the glass, and then it looks like there's some instructions as well. So uh, yeah, let's get this started. Okay, so first off, it says to uh, just use a cloth to kind of clean around where you're gonna apply this stuff, and so yeah, that probably is a good idea just because um, there is some dust on this screen. So yeah, just kind of clean around here. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, and then next, uh, we're gonna take out, well, it's the only pause the video so I can open up this kit. Okay, so here we got this little push pin. So it says just uh, I really don't think there's anything in here, but it says just to, try to clean out any uh, like I guess loose glass or whatever that might be in there actually it looks like there is some stuff in there that's interesting yeah so as I'm cleaning in here there is some stuff coming out so anyway I'm just gonna clean out this a little bit obviously you don't want to do it too much because you don't want to make the cracks worse than they are but just to get the loose stuff out so yeah I'm gonna work on this for a second Okay, so yeah, so you can see all those flakes of glass that I kind of uh, got out with the push pins. And I'm going to take my cloth again, just kind of wipe that away. Alright, okay. And uh, yeah, now let's uh, go on to the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece of seal. I'm going to take off one, uh, going to peel off one side of it. And actually, it looks like this hole is only going to fit over maybe two of the cracks. Uh, so yeah, it's not going to do all four of them. So I think I'm just going to do these two right here. And then maybe I'll try to do um, this one and this one separately. But yeah, let's just focus on this, these two since this is the biggest one right there. So anyway, I'm going to put on this uh, seal. Okay, so there I got it on. Uh, when you do this part, make sure that this tab is facing up um, because uh, then when you put on this uh, this part, it's going to be facing up and obviously like you can see it's at an angle. So 
um, yeah, gravity. <laughs> you want it to go in, so like if you have it upside down, then it's just gonna fall out, so. Um, anyway, yeah, so now we're gonna take off this outer peel here. All right. And then I'm gonna stick this on, just line it right up. I'm gonna pause the camera or video while I do this. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now you can see how that's uh, facing upwards. And then uh, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take off this little lid for the resin uh, stuff. And then I'm gonna cut off this uh, tip to, and then I'm gonna stick it in there. So hold on one second. All right, so yeah, you can see I cut off the tip there. So now I'm just going to stick this in there, and then this should actually fill up pretty quickly. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out, and once it fills up, then I'm going to stop squeezing. Yep, so see, you saw it come out there, so that's good. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm just going to take my cloth here again. Just kind of wipe up the extra stuff that came out. Okay. And then uh, pause the video while I clean this up. Okay, so now, oh yeah, and I put the lid back on the resin. There's still more in there, which is good because then we can hopefully use it on these other cracks. Um, okay, so now I'm going to take this injector, which is like a syringe basically, and stick it in here. And then you can see on here that there's two notches. So I'm going to pull it all the way to the um, bottom notch and, and that will just suck out all the bubbles. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stick it in there and I'm going to pause the video while I pull this out. Alright, so yeah, so you can see it in there, so it's connected to this little metal piece there. And uh, yeah, so now there's just a current of vacuum here. So yeah, that'll just suck out all the air bubbles. And so yeah, now I'm going to let this sit for uh, 10 minutes. 20 minutes or sorry 10 minutes <laughs> okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take this out temporarily just like that and then uh, I'm gonna release this thing uh, anyway what we're gonna do is yeah so that lets air back in and then I'm gonna um, release this and then I'm gonna put it to the second notch so then uh, put pressure back in there so that it pushes that resin really into the crack. So anyway, I'm going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, that just required two hands, but yeah, I got it out for that little um, crack, or uh, well yeah, the little indent in the plastic, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I'm going to push that back in there, and now I'm going to create pressure on here. Push it down to that second, there we go. Alright. Now, I'm just gonna let it sit here for another 20 minutes. All right, so now it's been uh, 20 minutes, a little over 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna take this off. So I'm just gonna take off this little syringe thing. All right, and then uh, they say to use the razor blade and kind of get up under here. Um, so yeah, I guess, I don't know. I, I don't wanna really damage this screen. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to do it with my finger now. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's coming up. So then, yeah, you can see it there, it's coming up. So, yeah, you just wanna get under there. That's what the razor blade idea was for, but anyway, yeah. And then you just kinda pull it up. This is kinda tricky with one hand. Anyway, I'm just gonna pull this off. I'm gonna pause the video while I do this. All right, so there's that. Yeah, and I can actually still see the crack pretty well. I don't see any more resin though. So anyway, so now I'm gonna just put another uh, little dot, a little drop of resin on this uh, scratch again. There we go. Yeah, and then actually, so now we're gonna put on, and then we're gonna put on this uh, um, this film in here uh, that's for the. Uh, what do they call it? Filming, um, well anyway, it's, it's for the UV light so then it cures it. And actually just for kicks, I'm gonna try putting some of this um, just on the the ones that we didn't technically do with the syringe just to 
see if we can, I don't know, fix it without doing it, because that, that peel is pretty big. So anyway, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna take that film and put it on there, so hold on. Okay, I just pulled it out of the bag, so yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, see it's super big, so it covers all of those. And then, yeah, you can see that there's some bubbles in there. So, I'm gonna take the razor blade and get those bubbles out. Yeah, so, I'm just gonna work these bubbles out of here. Just be careful not to, I really don't wanna scratch the other part of the screen. Just gonna work these bubbles out. So anyway, I'm just gonna pause the video while I work these out. Okay, so yeah, so you can see it. So actually, um, I figured out what those bubbles were and why they weren't coming out. So those were actually the cracks. I think it's because this this screen is uh, completely vertical. Um, so yeah, the resin wasn't actually going in there all the way. Uh, whereas like a windshield, you know, obviously it's at an angle. So I think it sticks in there easier. So anyway, what I did is I just put a bunch of resin at the top here. And then I quickly put on the um, this uh, film here and then I just kind of worked it in there. So now it's like stuck in there and so now there's no bubbles in there. Um, but then you can see this little crack down here that still has bubbles. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that one turns out. I have a feeling it's not gonna look as good as these top ones, but um, anyway. Uh, but yeah, now what we're gonna do is, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm actually outside. I build up my uh, little banana box um, <laughs> uh, shade thing here because we need this to cure in the sun. So I'm gonna take away the banana boxes and this Trinitron is super heavy. So I'm going to, I have it on this, uh, this thing here and I'm just gonna let it sit directly in the sunlight for 15 minutes at least. And uh, yeah, hopefully this works. All right, the moment of truth, so. It's actually been uh, quite a bit longer than 15 minutes. Um, I let it sit here. Uh, I actually ended up going to the store, so I just kind of let it sit out in the sunset. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna peel off this paint here, or sorry, this uh, film. Let's see if it actually put, yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like it did actually fill up those pretty nicely. They definitely look a lot better than they used to. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus here. Come on, there we go. So yeah, you can still see them, but uh, yeah, it actually, yeah, it looks a lot better than it used to. Wow, it's super hot. So I'm not gonna turn on this TV right now, but uh, yeah, it feels uh, smooth. Well, more smooth, I should say. Even this little one down here, I think, um, yeah, I think it, uh, I think it filled that up too, so I'm gonna use this um, razor just to get this off. Let's see what it looks like underneath the the dried uh, um, uh, feeling. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, so you can still kind of see where it is, um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's a lot better than it used to be, and actually, so behind behind it, you used to be able to see a shadow. Um, I really can't see a shadow anymore, so I think when the TV's actually on and like you're playing a game, I think it's actually gonna look a lot better now, so. Um, yeah, again, I'm not gonna turn on because it's like, bleh, it's super hot from seeing out in the sun. But yeah, maybe later on tonight I'll try to turn it on, and yeah, but there it is. Um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a, thumbs up and yeah hopefully this works for you too if you have um, a little uh, uh, what do you call it a little uh, rock <laughs> chip or whatever in your CRT screen um, so yeah we'll see you later bye